life's about to get real, son. It's down. How's everyone doing? Yeah. Good, man. This is a nice gig, man. Uh, this is a nice gig. Like, but I'm, I'm used to playing some shit places. Like, I, I was doing this gig in Nottingham the other day, right? And I'm outside the gig, and I'm eating a croissant, right? Because I've upgraded my bread, fucking deal with it, all right? That's the type of guy I am now. I eat croissants, I drink coffee, I might debate socialism, get over it, right? So I'm eating a croissant, and this guy comes up to me, and he starts calling me Bin Laden, right? Yeah, I know, I think it's because I wear glasses, I think that's why I've been Bin Laden. <laughs> but it's not the fact that he called me Bin Laden that upset me, it's the fact that he said it so casually. Do you know what I mean? He's went like this. Bin Laden, like he knew him, do you know what I mean? <laughs> Like they went to university together. <laughs> he said it with so much confidence, it made me question my own identity. I found it like you. I'm like, am I Bin Laden now? What the fuck is it? It's like when the US soldiers just dumped his body in the water, do you know what I mean? Swam to Nottingham, do you know what I mean? <laughs> don't know who he is, don't know who he is, do you know what I mean? a cross on, do you know what I mean? He's gonna go to his mum, he's like, who am I, mum? I didn't want to find out this way. I didn't want to... <laughs> He was being racist, right? But like, I rate his racism like about, I don't know, like a six out of ten? A six out, six out of ten? Because like, I come up, I, I grew up in like a place called Dagenham in the 90s. Like, anyone know Dagenham? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. If you don't know, don't worry. It's fine, right? You don't go. Right? But I've got a place that, and when I was living there, like the BNP were elected in my area. Do you know the BNP? Yeah. yeah? White people, you can say yes, it doesn't make you racist. Don't worry about it. <laughs> no, I read The Guardian. Relax, right? It's cool. Right? <laughs> If you don't know the BNP, they like the KKK without a respect for costume. That's how I see it. I'm, sure. I'm joking, they do have a costume. It's called UKIP. But what I'm saying is. Thank you. But like, it, I love UKIP because like, they're racist people too lazy to march. You know what I mean? Like, I want to be racist from my sofa. You know what I mean? I like that. But like, when you grow up around racist people, you realise some things. You realise that racist people do not understand irony. Did you know that? <laughs> racist people do not... Like, one time, I had a skinhead spray paint go home, yeah, on the side of my house. <laughs> I am home, I am home. <laughs> but yeah, but go inside. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> yeah, I, just, I just came out for a quiche. I was in these situations. <laughs> because you're inside, you can't steal our jobs. Oh, fuck. Oh, I'm a lazy soul. I wasn't stealing any jobs. Don't worry about it. I was, I was chilling. No, man. <laughs> but I do get racism a lot. Do you know I get racism a lot from? I get racism from the people who can sometimes be the most racist people in the world, which I think we can all agree are old, old white women. And, uh, and I know some of you are sitting there like, not my nanny Pat. Nanny Pat's a little bit fucking racist, right? Because every, every time I see an old white lady, she grabs her handbag and crosses the road, right? And that's crazy on two levels. Because number one, what the fuck am I going to rob you for? He was like, hey, bitch, give me that winter fuel allowance now. I ain't playing. <laughs> What's that? A 50 pound pension check? Oh, Jamali might get some lobster tonight. No. No. And when you cross the road, guess what? I can still fucking see you. It's like five steps. You're just... I mean, you're robbed. That's not... That's not how invisibility works, lady. I don't know. Race is weird, though, man. Like, race is weird. Ra ra race is weird because it, it makes everyone awkward. Like, because I was in a situation where it made me awkward. Like, because... I was living in Manchester, right? It was a bad time. No, I was, I was living in Manchester, right? And uh, I, I had a Chinese roommate, right? And her name was Ting Ting. Now listen, I feel awkward saying it, you feel awkward fucking hearing it, but that's her fucking name. I blame her parents, they're racist, right? I, 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 fuck them, right? They're, I want to call her Wendy, but that's racist. You can't do that, right? But, and I fucking hate Ting Ting as well, right? Hey, uh, and it's not because she's Chinese, it's because the bitch eats all my fucking eggs, okay? And I know she knows where the fuck's going down, because I'll leave the room and I can see this guy, hoo -hoo, I say, stop eating them goddamn eggs, Ting Ting, they're not yours, right? And I, <laughs> well, your eggs. But then, I had a theory about Ting Ting. I had a theory, I was like, does she eat all my eggs? Because she's Chinese. 
and that's like a communist government. <laughs> so she thinks that everybody's ex. <laughs> and I have to tell her, no, no, Susan. this is England, okay? This is capitalism. So when she's one of my eggs, I eat like fucking ten of her eggs, right? <laughs> and I put her in an egg debt, then I open up an egg bank and I just loan her eggs that she can't pay back anymore. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Thus foreclosing her egg home, and uh, now Ting Ting's is sucking dick for eggs, and there's nothing we can do about that. There's nothing we can do about that shit. Okay. That's how economy works. Uh, the funny thing, I don't even fucking like eggs. I don't know why I'm so angry. Uh, anyway, you've been great, man. Thank you very much, man. Thank you.